I am Nilesh Mandlecha. I am a psychologist by profession and I have done my MBA in HR. I conduct training program for more than 50 companies for management and non-management people. I have conducted many live program on TV channels. I conduct training program for trade unions across all political parties. I am a visiting faculty for management institutes and for the last 13 years I am a practicing psychologist. I welcome you all for a talk on parenting, how to talk so kids will listen and listen so kids will talk. In this talk, first I am going to focus on empathy, understanding the feeling of the child. When we talk about empathy, what is your understanding of empathy? I would like to ask you. What do you mean by empathy? We would try to put ourselves in the other man's shoes. How do you understand the helping hand? I understand his problem from yes. his angle. Exactly. That means, I was a Right. So, that is correct understanding of empathy. I will elaborate further. Empathy means showing a mirror. Mirroring. Mirror, Jota hai, wo bolta nahi hai. That this is what you feel. Real image. Real, real image, right. Whatever the child's feelings are, that uh, wo hai, yeah. that is needs to be communicated. Why empathy is important? Because we have two minds, rational mind and emotional mind. If we only communicate to rational mind, it is not sufficient. So it is important for us to also communicate with emotional mind. So that is why empathy is important. There is a difference between empathy and sympathy. In sympathy, I flood with the flood of other person. I go with the emotion of the other person. I also get involved. In empathy, it's kind of a rational detachment, yet I understand the feeling of the other person. That's that's the main difference. So I, it is a necessary need comes living with a necessary to be able to boost between Necessary. It is a necessary to have uh, kids to get a boost from us. Yeah, especially when they are asked, they are expressing some problem and they are telling something. That time it is important to empathize. Not that all the time. But you empathize you mean that you actually help other person. Is no, you no. just understand. I will yes. give you the examples. There are many around uh, 10, 15 examples are there in this uh, year also, which I will. But first I will explain uh, further what is empathy with the help of example, right? Uh, and empathy means understanding current state of emotion, current state of feeling, what is going on right now in the mind of child. It is like shifting your frame of reference. What is frame of reference? That is the first thing we talk. Well, this is my frame of reference. And this is child's frame of reference. Right. It's important for me to shift from my adult frame of reference to child's frame of reference and understand the child's emotion or the child's world from child's perspective or angle. After understanding feeling, it is important to communicate that feeling to the child. Right. So in empathy, we understand the feeling. So I'll give you the example. I will invite some responses. Let's take the example. If imagine all of you that you are a father or a mother of a four-year-old child. Your child has come to you and is telling, Papa, Papa, Mama, Mama, my puppy is dead. Small yeah. puppy hai, pick up a child. That is dead. And that puppy is really dead. And the child is upset, child is crying. Yeah. Now your job is to empathize with the child how you will understand the feeling of the child. First of all, I'll say, um, I'll take the child along with me to the top. Let's see, let me see, tell you what is happening. It's sad, very sad, you look at our puppy is really dead. And let's we'll see what we can do about it. Okay. But important that I go along with the child and be with me at the top. Okay. And allow the child to ex experience his emotions about the death of the child. Okay, so you will be with the child? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And also allow him to explore, to give way to his full emotions. Okay. 
you will give allow the child to cut. Yeah, you will allow the child to express whatever the child wants to express. So right. not saying only thing uh, what is important. <coughs> okay. So you will hug the child. Yeah, and uh, we can tell the child it came from God and went back to God, and we will bring other puppy. Okay. okay. So we bring other puppy. So emotionally we are seeing yeah, everything. We will tell this what you are in. Emotionally so touched with it. Most now it is a gone by, you know. So not necessary to take that much serious now. Okay. You know? Uh, so in your and your response, uh, empathy was there, but like uh, it has gone to God. See, this is not the right time to tell the child the philosophy or the reality because it's too small. Yeah, too small. And even if the child is small, the first aim is empathy. Then talking about reality and all afterwards. So what errors people make while empathizing? One of them uh, that. They tell the reality or uh, philosophy to the child. Or another thing is that we will buy another one. No, yeah. this is a response yeah, from yeah. adult frame of mind. Yeah. No, no, Not uh, no, from yeah. that may yeah. irritate yeah. child. Yeah. 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 And what was your response? Yeah. According to you, how you? I will. I will tell. I will tell. I will tell, sir. What was your response? The response means what? We will tell him. See, by now it is over. Now see. Okay. Come to the level now, see Yeah. Don't take, take that much serious now. Okay. So again, you know, when we tell, don't be that much Sometimes serious. Sometimes hurting, that's my hurting. This whole day we need to setting the so sad level. So directly, now. you know, see, we are, you are telling the child, don't feel right yeah, now that, that but Don't take that so, much serious now. But that is not empathy. Yeah. Empathy is not understanding the feeling and communicating understanding that of that feeling. There can be different responses different people will give. Some people will try to distract the child. Yeah. yeah. Again, that is not, not, not the empathy. Not empathy, right? Will give the chocolate or will uh, forget it. Yeah, forget it. Uh, so that is again denial of the emotion, right? So it is important to understand what is the feeling of the child. There could be yes. Uh, I think important thing here to understand is difficult for a child to experience adult emotion. Yeah. Whereas it is easy for an adult to experience whatever to the is in the child's emotion. Mm -hmm. So if at all I would not like the child to experience that I have to the adult emotions, I am not taking that way. Right. But rather I will try and experience his emotion. Okay. So you will try and experience his emotion well, and communicating that and, and communicating. Yeah. So uh, it's important, like, I'll give you uh, one more response of empathy, like, you were very as closely associated with puppy, no? you were playing with that puppy, you were involved in that puppy, and I, I know, I saw how much time you were spending with him, like, that puppy is no more suddenly, it's gone, you're feeling very sad, no? very upset. When the child will say, ha ah, ah, that yeah. means, we see, we see, we see. <laughs> it's a understanding, understanding the emotion of the child. Right. I'll give you, I will share a couple of examples. Right. When my daughter and I went uh, to Bali for one fair, she purchased one yo yo. She was after me, Papa, buy me pink color ka yo yo. I like yo yo. So I purchased it. While coming on the bike, I told her before sitting on the bike, Please give me your yo-yo, I will keep it in Dikki. He said, no, no, Papa, I want to hold it. <laughs> Papa, I want to hold it. I said, baby, it may fall. Yeah. You know, I want to hold it. So I allowed her to hold And when I came to the other, I found the yo-yo was missing in her hand. And she also found it. <laughs> just call it down somewhere. What is usual response of the parent? Usual response is that big eyes. Uh, so I avoided. I also tempted to yeah. say like that, but because I know empathy is important, so then I started empathizing with the child. No, oh, it's gone. Pink color ka yo yo. I know you liked it so much, and you picked it up uh, from so many yo yos, and you were after me. And suddenly it's gone. Yeah, I know. How you can feel? You must be feeling very sad. Oh, Papa. And she was crying. 
till I reached my home, she was crying. And uh, but I was not at all on that the mood. I told you that there is no other thing. Ki, please stop crying. I was just trying to empathize with her. Then what happened? I did not tell her anything. After one week again, we went somewhere and we brought something. There again, she said, "Papa, I want to hold in my hand." That time, I told her. Yeah. Okay. Last time, you. Okay. Last time, kya hua tha? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, then uh, she said, "Okay, Papa, you keep it in the key." So it's very, very important for us to hold. Yeah. Yeah. Our emotions. Yeah, our emotions. Yeah, our emotions. And, and it is better they should realize. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Instead of reminding us. Through experience. Yes. Learn yes. through experience <laughs> and. Uh, first, understanding emotion of the child is important. I'll give you one more example. I think so one thing you have given her a space, you know, to talk to your... Uh, yeah, one thing. And has, space and plus empathy. And this also, uh, yeah, no, sorry. I do not know to what extent to agree to this. Yeah. But in telling the child to go they will fall indirectly, I think we're giving an exception property. It's not a suggestion. Yeah. Because many times the child is climbing on the tree and you tell the child, are you going to fall? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when it happens, the child falls. Yeah. So, see, the reality so was... this, you know, this understand. talk, I think one has to use to the brain. Yeah. I understand. Before giving the negative suggestion to the child. The, real, the reality was, the, she, she has to hold like this. So if she holds, there is a high probability that something may fall. So from the realistic perspective, uh, uh, because the, it's very difficult when the, you get the jerk on the bike. Yeah. It's a yeah. 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 So that's the reason uh, it's important to be, uh, of course not negative, but also realistic yeah. about, uh, I'm going to talk about some of the beliefs behind parenting. Let me give you one more example. One fine day I brought one big balloon for her in the night. In the morning it became small. <laughs> she started telling me, Papa, how it became small. <laughs> I did not explain anything logically to her. And she said, Oh, I, I know. I'm also surprised. It was so big. You want a, you want a big balloon. Ah. So then uh, afterwards, after some time, uh, I explained to her, uh, I brought one more balloon, I blew in front of her, and I showed her how it uh, blew, it gets bigger and how it gets smaller. Then she understood, okay, fine. But uh, it's important to empathize. Let me give you a dharma, I saw that the child is vomiting. And uh, mother is telling child, <laughs> now, it is again not empathy. What is important, what the child is experiencing, what the child is feeling, understanding that feeling and communicating that understanding. And then afterwards when the child is okay, that time you can tell whatever you want to tell. Many times some parents tell, a hajar bar bola pirdi samashta nahi hai. <laughs> but I think personally, yeah. it's really not necessary to explain that. You know. Yeah. That, that one experience the child would have learned. Absolutely. Yeah. And we should allow the child to learn by itself. Absolutely. Now, vomit is nothing but a re reaction of the food. If you force a child to eat, imagine it would be in a... There are, there are various reasons. Yeah. But the important point, see, the child, the understanding the emotion of the child, yeah. rather than, uh, you know, the cause of vomiting. The child is in pain, it's important for us, for a parent, to understand the feeling of the child. That's the, ek, ek bar is over ki bachcha aage chal raha hai, or parents piche chal rahe hai, bachche ko pehle se bolo hai, beta ti kanse chalo, be careful. <laughs> bachcha ka sunta hai, child is jumping, ho gir gaya, usko laga. Then parents were telling, tumhe bola tha na? <laughs> Again the same response. It's important, achha laga, bhaat dar dhar hai na? It's paining, I know. Yeah. Oh. So then the child will feel oh, my feelings are interesting. I have seen this like uh, most of the time the child stops crying or uh, if you continuously empathize with the child. Yes. Not always. 
or many situations can be handled uh, at ease if the parents are on empathy mode, right? Let me give you uh, some more examples of uh, empathy. I would like to show you a presentation where how non-helpful response is there from parent and then uh, what could be the correct response? Child, mommy, I'm tired, mother, you couldn't be tired, you just snapped, child, daughter, but I'm tired, mother, you are not tired, you are just little sleepy, let's get dressed, child, you are very, no, I'm tired, <laughs> so, this is the example, I, I will show you after some time, I will show you three, four slides where how the empathy is not there and how in the similar situation parents would have empathized with the child. Child, mommy, it's hot here. Mother, it's cold. Keep sweater on. <laughs> child, no, I am hot. Mother, I say keep your sweater on. Child, no, I am hot. So again, denial of the theory. One more example we will see. Child, that TV show is boring. Mother, no, it wasn't. It was very interesting. Child, <laughs> it was stupid. Mother, it stung. Child, don't talk that way. So, again, uh, example of denial. Then, uh, what could be the correct response? When the child is saying, here, mommy, I am tired. Mother could have said, so you are still feeling tired even though you just So here, yeah, we accept the feeling. Oh, you are still feeling tired even though you are not. So this is empathy. Let's see second example. Mommy, it's hot here. Mother, I am cold. But for you, it's hot in home. So here, understanding the basic feeling of the child. Child, that TV show is boring, mother. I can see you didn't care much for the show. So here, the mother is empathizing with the child. So we accept the feeling. Let's see some more example, few more example about automatic denial from parents. How parents, they don't, like we have seen Dusra dog lake denge. Many times it comes from adult frame of mind or it's not so serious, what's the big thing in it? Like that, different responses uh, people give. <coughs> Child, I don't like new baby. How parents can deny the feeling? What do you think? I'll give you the response. Yeah, how? Well, I'm asking denial response. Is there any specific reason why you, you... Yeah, again, not empathizing, you understand? Yeah. No, no, you should like baby. <laughs> that, uh, let me show you. Oh, that's not so. I know in your heart you really love the baby. So, uh, this is again yeah. denial of the feeling of the child. Automatic denial of the feeling of the child, right? So, here the child is saying, no, I don't like. So, the, at that particular moment, child don't like. Many times, uh, my baby also, she said, Papa, I don't like you, sir. Mom, I don't like. So at that particular moment, the child yeah, doesn't yeah. like. Yeah. yeah, so that's so understanding that uh, and empathizing with the child is important. Child, I had a dumb birthday party after you went all out <coughs> to make it a wonderful day. How the child is telling, I'm not satisfied with that birthday party. What are you talking about? It's a denial, right? You had a wonderful party, ice cream, birthday cakes, balloons. Well, that's the last party you will ever have. Again, <laughs> parent is giving warning also, not only uh, denying the feeling. Yeah. Child, I'm not wearing my bike plate, right, uh, anymore. It hurts me. I don't care what orthodentist, uh, orthodontist say. So if something is hurting, yeah. you know, what orthodentist has suggested, the parents, your bike plate can't hurt that, that much. After all, the money we have invested in your mouth, you will wear that thing, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so, parents is not acknowledging the feeling that uh, 
explain. Yes, but in this no see scolding is not necessary. Yeah. See first, yeah, empathizing. Yeah. And then later on, uh, no psychologists say that scolding is not necessary. But how you scold? Yeah, politely. Yeah. So, yeah. Enough. so the important is you can talk about behavior. You can scold about the behavior, yeah. not about the entire yeah. child. Yeah. You can correct the particular behavior, like. When my daughter, she said um, uh, she did not study or she, uh, yesterday, my wife said, I am not going to talk to you for one hour. <laughs> so then she was trying hard and then again uh, she got up and she sat for study. So again, this is a corrective measure. Yeah. Right. So, uh, but it, uh, it's important to acknowledge if the child is saying, Mommy, I am bored, I am tired. It's important to acknowledge the yeah. emotion, what the child is feeling, and uh, that is what it is. So, uh, let's take one more example of how automatic denial comes from parent. Child, I am so mad. Just because I was two minutes late for gym, the teachers kicked me off the team. So, the child got late, and the teacher kicked the, the child out for the team. What the parental denial? You have no right to be mad at the teacher. It's your fault. You should have been on time. <laughs> so, it's important to first acknowledge what the child is experiencing and then communicating further thing. Now, we will see there are a common irrational beliefs when we handle the child. These beliefs are in parents. What are those common irrational beliefs? My children must always obey me. That's a drawback with them. Yeah. At times there is... You know, but they, uh, these parents, they got it from their parents. Yeah. So, because they copy. Yeah. And when we copy... Uh, they copy, copy badly. Yeah. And uh, it is... Uh, then uh, they don't see the reality. Yeah. In uh, transactional analysis, when we copy something, in parent eco state, we copy thinking, feeling and behavior. And they, uh, that script is repeated in the head, right? So at that time they are not in touch with the reality from adult ego state. What is the reality? What is the reality? At times the child will not obey. There is a possibility that child will not obey. But if the parent are insisting or demanding that the child must obey all the time, that is irrational. I would, I would prefer, I would like if my child obey no, all the time. Their ego is not safe. Yeah. <laughs> Most fully in this. Yeah. yeah. Just do so, it. and it's important to teach uh, obedience to certain extent to the child. Right. But not demanding. It's yeah. important to prefer. prefer. Yeah. But the moment the parent insists, there is a high chances the child will start resisting. More and more the parents are dominating and controlling, more, it, more the child will be rebellious, right? That's the, the high chances the child will be rebellious. I must be available for my child at every moment of his or her life. Again, this is irrational belief. So I must be available all the time. So even when the child grows for the parent, the child is small. I have seen college maybe chhodne aate hai. Yeah. Even a little yeah. Robert, he knows yeah. yeah. the yeah. Helicopter parents. Yeah, helicopter parents. <laughs> so you are spoiling this video. So I know. Yeah. Yeah. The end of this, every time so you give the little bit uh, yeah. liberty Absolutely. to the child. Absolutely. Independently, they can handle their problems. Otherwise, Absolutely. they will totally depends upon the parents. Only. I have seen after marriage also. Uh, <laughs> okay. These parents think, oh, but you can many exams. Ah. <laughs> and some parents take leave for one month. Yes. And one exam. Specifically, 10th or 12th. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, I must be available. This is a problem create hote hai, and over protection. Yes. And then the child also feels yes. sometimes. It doesn't allow the child to grow. Huh? This doesn't allow the child to grow. Yeah, yeah child to grow, yes. But uh, the, like there are a few more irrational beliefs. If my child is unhappy, then I am a bad parent. Again, I am totally bad parent. Self-criticism. Self-criticism. There is a possibility that there are various reasons why the child is unhappy. Or even if uh, because 
from the certain behavior of mine, certain unhappiness is there in the child. I cannot totally help myself responsible. Yeah. Like maybe that I have not been able to force the child as expected. Right. I better learn it. Yeah, yeah. True. I will accept, but I will not consider myself as bad. Bad. Right. But some people they feel guilty. Guilty. Yeah. Huh? Especially those who are over sensitive to others. And insensitive to you know, many a time child uh, demand some irrational things and all these things, and because they cannot afford, they will feel <coughs> yes. As a you know, the child will ask for a bigger house. Yes, I am not able to do. The child will ask for a helicopter <laughs> or not a bigger car or more more comforts. Yeah. And every more parent has got their own uh, limitations. So some parents they feel guilty, or some parents they try to compensate that by something else. Yes. They buy something else, or they take uh, over risk, over risk, over like afford nahi hota, it will be bada ghar. And then they invite lot of troubles yes. to themselves, uh, anxiety and all those things because of the loans. Yes. And bada hone ke baad mein child usko parents ko kuch kya? Correct. Us samay mujhe batana chahiye chahiye thoda. Ah. Mujhe kaise bhi dal diya. Correct. Uh, my child is my extension, and my child is equal to my life. Again, <laughs> this is irrational. This is all irrational. Yeah. What happens? Some people, the parents, they think just like this is my hand. I can move my hand like this. The same way my child eats. And then what happens? Then my child must be the way I want. <laughs> That's the next thing. And my child is equal to my life. Your child is one of the important part of your life. But he or she is not equal to your life. Your life has also got some meaning, and it's important for you to search. This belief can sometimes lead to serious emotional disturbance yeah. in parent. My child is equal to my life. I have seen one mother, her 15-year-old son died. Only son died in accident five years back, and from last five years she is into depression. And she had this this belief that my child was everything to me. Now he is no more in my life. So my life has no meaning. <laughs> so it's important for parents or for every human being to just like we invest in gold, we invest in shares, we invest in property. We don't invest in one particular thing to divide the risk. Same way, emotional investment also has to be divided. Yes. If you put only to one thing. Then what will happen? The way that other person will move, your emotion also will move like that. So it's important uh, that uh, to understand that your child is not equal to your life, and your child is also not your extension. If a child is punished, he or she will never repeat the error. <laughs> yeah, this is irrational belief. Uh, but some people are. तुम्हें बोला था ना? परसों ही तुम्हें बोला था ये 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 अरे हाउ कैन यू 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 यार आई टॉट दिस दिस फोर डेज बैक स्पेलिंग एंड आर आर स्टिल फॉरगेटिंग इज कॉमन कॉमन या वेरी आर आर टॉकिंग इरेशनल बिलीफ एंड डिफरेंट इमोशन लाइक पेरेंटल डिप्रेशन Uh, so, but uh, this is again uh, sometimes because this is again uh, comparison, and one of the important thing is that this is once this basic assumption is there, the child forgets, and then again, um, the, the whatever you are being, uh, you are being trying to teach the child, the child will uh, sometimes forget, and the child need revision at times. Uh, especially, this is I'm talking with respect to studies. There are other areas also where the child may repeat the same error again and again. Nobody can look after my child better than me. Ego. Excess. Not an ego. That's an every mother's thing. Yeah, mother's feeling. But the important point is that uh, they have to overcome it. Yeah. Nobody will look after my child better than me. Mm -hmm. She is uh, denying that there is no God. In fact, the God is looking at the girl. <laughs> That's again uh, one's own personal belief because there are different people. Uh, some people are atheists. Some people are. So the important point is that uh, understanding that uh, 
the child also can look after himself. That is the most important uh, message uh, from this, right? So, uh, but what happens um, uh, from this belief? Then, uh, even after the marriage, the parents keep on providing and providing yeah, yeah. because, and then sometimes the child feels suffocating. That is this would have been born of his mother and daughter in law. Yeah, this can be. Because uh, of this. Yeah, yeah. Firm belief. Yeah, firm belief. Even the Most emotional attachment is involved. Yeah, emotional. emotional. Attachment. Excessive emotional yeah. attachment, excessive attachment to anything leads yeah. to misery. Yeah. My son is my property, not yeah. your. After what? Sometimes deny, they, uh, they, they deny also, there are some people who deny. They don't give way to that. Yeah, so again, that is again... It's psychological disorder. It's a problem, it's a problem. Uh, it is terrible if my child prefers someone else's company to mine. Again, uh, this is especially uh, after the marriage again. After the marriage. If my child is preferring my husband's or wife's company, like... Uh, then again a problem, right? Yeah. This issue we have in our relation was divorce. Only child was alone, he was not alone, he was not alone. And then same office, after going to the office, she used to call three, four times. And then marriage, then separate, she was alone. Then she was with them, when they were going to go to she was accompanied with them. <laughs> <laughs> So there are previous beliefs which we have seen where overprotection के कारण जो आते हैं that also then it continued and when जो होता है and this happens again ऐसा होता है कि बच्चा जो है sometimes बोलता है कि no no I like grandmother grandfather still some people uh, parents they uh, feel threatened because no it's terrible <laughs> but sometimes the child will like neighbors you know no, i want to sleep with that auntie's house we go to, i want to go there no no how can you okay? you must sleep with me i'm your parent <laughs> so the child can prefer at times someone else's company the child must always be aware of and acknowledge all the sacrifices I have made as a parent. So, kitne papad bele hai, the child all the time must keep in the mind that these many things we have done for you. And if child is not, then again it's terrible. The child must remember then, apre matlab kya hai? So, again, what happens? If too much of uh, इस बिलीफ का ज़्यादा ये बार-बार पेरेंट्स ही करते हैं तो चाइल्ड उसमें चाइल्ड में भी प्रॉब्लम का कुछ चाइल्ड्स में गिल्ड आने की पॉसिबिलिटी हो जाती है यारे आई एम नॉट लुकिंग आफ्टर माय पेरेंट्स और आई एम नॉट लिस्टनिंग टू देम आई एम नॉट फॉलोइंग देयर कमांड्स और व्हाटेवर it is somebody's fault. That is either my own or spouse's or some other family members. So here the parent who apne aapko puri tarah se jimmedhar pehra rahe hai if child doesn't achieve something. But the important point is that here there are various reasons. The child himself is also responsible for that. There are various other factors which are responsible. Parents can contribute to certain extent, but not. You cannot say that totally. Yeah. I am. So again, this is a rational belief. Parenting shouldn't be so hard. Again, this is uh, because parenting involves a lot of patience, lot of efforts, yeah. hard work, like right from the beginning. 
but some people have low frustration tolerance, which I'm going to talk after some time, and they develop this belief that parenting must be easy. <laughs> Children must never disagree with their superiors. Again, this is not possible. At times, they will show disagreement. Yeah. So, if then some parent feels again, oh, it's terrible. The child is showing uh, disobedience. Sometimes they think that is a disobedience. They, they will link with the school respectively. Ah, yeah. correct, correct. <laughs> the ch child can have different yeah. opinion, yeah. and it's okay to have different yeah. views because it's got the word. Say you can always interact, but then uh, that's uh, children must not be frustrated. Yeah. Again, <laughs> how is it possible? Uh, whoever is born, sometimes the person you can be a human being, of human being. But then, too much of overprotection. What happens parents have seen, I go in many companies where I interact with so many people or I have interacted with so many clients. From my experience, I have seen. Like, people have a belief that we had a hard time. So, we have seen a difficulty, so why my child should suffer? Why my child should get the hard time? So they give everything easily to the child. फिर वो चाइल्ड को भी उसका कीमत उतना नहीं होता है एंड ऐसा फिर बोलते हैं एंड देन फिर क्या होता है फिर वो इजीली क्यों देते हैं क्योंकि वो बिलीफ कई बार ये भी होता है कि उसको फ्रस्ट्रेशन नहीं आना चाहिए था हार्ड टाइम में इंस्टू आर द फ्रस्ट्रेशंस व्हिच आई फेस्ड इन माय लाइफ सो माय � yeah, they will provide the things and they try to compensate yeah. the guilt. They will give different different things to the child, material things. And uh, they try to, but again, indirectly, in some cases, they may spoil the child. Like they may uh, reward some undesirable patterns in the child. See, at this stage, there is other spectrum of parents. They will tell just the opposite. You know, go play. Yeah. पब्लिक लाइट तो दीवार गली बोलते हैं ना पैस करो तो दे तुम्हारा घर आना तो इलेक्ट्रिक लाइट आने आ रही है तो भी आप पैस करो तो अदर एक्सट्रीम ट्रू या इट्स अ वाइफ नॉट देर आर पीपल वो आर स्टेइंग ऑन द रोड वो खाने के लिए मिलता है उनको खाने के लिए तो पता नहीं इसलिए अवेलेबल � my feelings when things go wrong at home. Again, uh, this is parental irrational belief. Parents, if they can decide, they can uh, manage their feelings, they can learn to manage, they can control uh, control this, they can minimize their disturbance, but they, here they are entirely blaming the external situation. The external situation contributes to our feeling and major contribution is from our own belief, our own <coughs> thinking process. <laughs> my child must not interfere with my plans. <laughs> this is again typical belief. At times the child interferes the plans, whatever you have planned, because of uh, various reasons. Suddenly the child will get fewer or different child's agenda are different, parents and children are different. I will prefer if my child doesn't uh, interfere in my plans, but it is not a must. At times there is a possibility that child may interfere my plans. If child created problem, I should have been able to prevent my son's or daughter's problem. If a child has problem, I should have been male. Then again, this is irrational. Because some, this has already happened. The child already killed. You are telling me oh, I should have been, I should have been. मुझे अच्छा लगता तो कि अगर वो मैंने problem को करें तो तो but ये I am responsible for my all child's problems and other parents don't have this problem. Comparison. आपने ये जो बोला था ना कि मेरे ही बच्चे को ये problem है and I am totally responsible for this. So there must be something wrong with me, therefore as a parent I am hopeless. So again, comparison, 
comparison with the other child. Self depreciation. Yeah, self appreciation, appreciating oneself, putting oneself down to feel that I am bad. My parenting skill at times can be bad, but I cannot say that I am totally bad parent. Skill is a part of me. It's not a total me. I can learn from my mistake. Still, I am a fallible human being. There is guilt feeling is also involved. Yes, guilt is that is why guilt is what over responsibility. Last time, you remember we talked about overcoming guilt here only. Yeah. Guilt may over responsibility lete <coughs> for the thing which you are not totally responsible. And from that the guilt feeling, uh, this is what uh, which is coming out from the parents. And uh, they are discounting other factors also which are contributing. That is all other, that is all other. So there must be something wrong with me. Therefore, as a parent, I am hopeless. And especially other parents don't have the, this problem. Again, this conclusion. <laughs> the conclusion is itself is wrong. Itself is wrong. Because there are, their problems are different. Many times we are not living with them for 24 hours. Right. So we don't know in minutely what problems they are facing. Right. Each parents have different sets of problems. It's not like smooth parenting is not a smooth process. What will work with one child yeah, may not, may not work, work with another that. child. And there is no ready-made solution. Yes. Yes. It's important. It's very easy to rule the country. But it's very difficult to bring up a child. Yes. <laughs> Who said that? It's Chinese philosopher, the psychologist. Okay, okay. It's very easy to rule the country to become a prime minister. It's very difficult to bring up a child. Yeah. <laughs> One author uh, I've seen long, काफी साल पहले की बात है, उसका Star TV के ऊपर एक interview आया था, जब नया नया आया था चाइना, she's from United States, she said अगर United States में बच्चे को जन्म देना है parent को, तो उनको special training लेना चाहिए, otherwise they should not. US में अगर ऐसा कहते हैं तो सोचो अपने यहाँ पर कितनी ज़रूरत है ये चीज़ की मतलब so, uh, but kya hota hai ki, uh, we think nah, nah, we know everything. Many parents, jo hota hai, kaati, jo parents ko lagta hai ki, I know everything, most of the things. They take it as a granted. It is a skill. This, uh, I think, uh, it's very difficult. That means it requires a lot of efforts. Yeah, yeah, skill. Yeah. So many things are involved. It's terrible that my child has these problems. People, uh, especially my family, will think I am worthless. <laughs> People will think that uh, will think I'm worthless because why? Because my child has this problems. Again, parental worth is linked to the child problems. Each child has got different problems. Right? Intensity, frequency, or duration come jada hota hai. So again, self or if my child fails in important class, then as a parent, I'm total failure. Again. <laughs> This is, I am a total failure as a parent. My child should not create any problem. Again, this is irrational. Child creates problem. Uh, I must be able to solve my son's problems. Again, at times you may not be able to. I can't stand it when things go wrong at home. I can't stand my child's behavior. Again, this is irrational. You can't tolerate it, anything, unless you die. It will not kill. It is difficult to tolerate. Certain behaviors are difficult to tolerate, but they can be tolerated, uh, and it is worth tolerating. Tolerating means, does not mean not doing anything to correct them. If they are correctable, right? Making efforts in that direction. When we make efforts to correct something, there are two, poss two three possibilities. You will be able to correct that particular behavior. You will partially able to correct, or you may not. But in this point, though. Yeah. But because I am trying to correct, therefore I must successful in correcting. I must be successful in correcting that. Then it will create a further problem. Now we will see uh, for the parents and emotions, different emotions we will see. Belief underlying the parental anger. What are the beliefs? 
children should always and un uh, <coughs> equally do well, be motivated and achieve, behave correctly, and be kind, considerate, and interested. So if this belief is there, it will set the basis in the minds of the parent for anger. It's terrible, horrible, and awful when children do not do well, misbehave, or question or disobey their parents. So, my child must always behave the way I demand, and my child must do what I say. This will lead to anger. The child and his behavior are the same, and thus children who act badly are bad child. Is that like? And the child are entirely bad. My child must be fair to me at all times, and my child shouldn't be so difficult to help. This will lead to parental anger. What could be a rational alternatives for these beliefs? Just now we have seen irrational beliefs behind parental anger. Anger can be compared to child's having a temper tantrum. When parents get angry, it brings them down to the level of a four-year-old four child. Yes. Because your capacity to think logically gets hijacked, you will make situation more difficult to handle. Because when you are not fully available logically to yourself, the problem will exaggerate. Do not discipline with anger because anger puts your children down as a consequence. As a consequence, your child may develop a spiteful, spiteful reaction. So, the putting down the entire child because what is anger? In anger, there is one irrational demand that the child must behave the way I want or other person must. That is one thing. And the second thing, one of the common things that putting down the entire person, not the behavior. Say for example, I was eating food and my girl had water. She was jumping and something. She was jumping and something. She was jumping and something. Then, she was jumping and water and water. That is a problem. Not that she is a problem. But if you understand, if a parent is angry, then you have to dash dash. But then I said, okay, it's good, it's good. Okay, fine. Be careful. But then I said, okay, now take that cloth and clean it. How about it? Clean it. And then for the next 10 minutes, he was doing that. Hey, you don't say it again. And I was comfortably eating my food. That means not attacking on the person, but you can correct the behavior without blaming the entire person. Getting angry will not will not help parents on their or their children. Anger is only temporary at best. You do okay. Yeah. Anger में क्या होगा? Because child is one down. So वो anger में कुछ करेगा, but long term it is not desired. See there is a difference between annoyance and anger. Annoyance is temporary. For the moment. Yeah, anger. Yeah, anger is for. Annoyance में you can be annoyed about. I was annoyed about that. वो water जो गिरा है ना उसके बारे में. But not anger. Annoyance is directed towards behavior. Annoyance in annoyance, preference होता है. Anger में demand होता है. Right. So that's the difference. No law of universe says that what parents wish to happen must happen. Children are children. Ignorant misbehaviors. So sometimes you know not that you keep हमेशा वो ऐसा ही होना चाहिए. But anger frequently generates more anger. And resentment in others. Chewing जैसा होता है वो anger से anger. Never hate the child. Only disapprove his or her actions. I have already given one example of disapproving his or her actions. I did not like जो water जो डाला है that particular act. Every time what happens like sometimes she daughters she my daughter वो मुझे पता थी but I don't like you. So then, I know I don't like you. 
can't make that statement. I don't like it. I don't like a particular act. Yeah. But, but not let me. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they just see charisma. Papa don't mm. like you. Then I ask, uh, what you don't like? What do you don't like? Then she specifies. This is what I don't Changing like. Changing the toning. Not toning. Yeah. Then uh, so that she understands. Okay. Does not like him means does not like him particular behavior. Yeah, yeah. Not the entire person. My way of responding, oh, this is what you feel right now. So it's important to acknowledge the feeling. This is what just now we have seen. This is what you feel right now. And it's okay to feel. That is again, no, no, because I am your father, you must like me all the time. <laughs> that is again. Uh, so that, that is what. So she gets the space to feel. Gets the space to express what she wants to express, and uh, that is that, that's okay. And then my, my response is, I love you, I accept you unconditionally. <laughs> Even if you like me or don't like me or certain acts of me, I like you. I fully accept you. I'm there for you. So these kinds of responses. Uh, the child feels okay, fine. That means the child feels secure. Else, what happens if I say this? My father will not. Father will disapprove me. So to get my approval, she will hide her real feeling, and she will not give. Uh, she will not talk about that feeling. Right? Beliefs behind a parental depression. Just now we have seen beliefs behind anger and rational. Counterpart. What are the beliefs behind parental depression? Beliefs that underlie parental depression. When I don't perform as I think a good parent should. Example: Worry all the time, solve all my child's problem. I am complete failure as a person. If I am not performing my parenting role effectively, then I am a failure. If my child misbehaves frequently, it is awful, and I am a failure as a parent. If my child thinks I'm a poor parent, I'm worthless. My worth as a person depends on the performance of my child. बहुत सारे parents के दिमाग में ये score card होता है, और वो ये अपना worth जो होता है ना, वो child के performance से, behaviour से link करते हैं. And they all the time they then they set one thing, they put down themselves several times when the child doesn't perform or behave the way they want. ये और क्या होता है अननेसेसरी अपना इमोशन का रिमोट कंट्रोल वो बाहर दे देते हैं या एक्चुअली दे कैन फील हेल्थी निगेटिव इमोशन राधर देन अन हेल्थी निगेटिव इमोशन अबाउट एनीथिंग वी हैव सीन द डिफरेंस इन अर्लीर सेशंस यर माय सेल्फ वर्क एस अ पर्सन इज टाइड अप टू हाउ आई डू एस अ पेरेंट स Again, this is not possible that you will not make mistakes. At times, you will make mistakes. I am worthless because my child has so many problems. I am terrible parent for being so annoyed with my child who cannot completely help his or her problem. So again, these are again, what are the rational alternatives? Never blame yourself as a person or others for anything. That means blaming doesn't solve the issue. Parent makes uh, parent make themselves miserable, not their children. So my misery is my business, not totally child's business. That means I am also miserable. I create my misery by creating my misery. My child's behavior is contributing to my misery, but major contribution is from my beliefs. Children's hardship are never as bad as parents make them out to be. Parents should blow, uh, shouldn't blow uh, them out of proportion. ये terrible is करते हैं ना, some problem को. But जो thing, what the thing which you think as terrible, more terrible, more terrible things are possible. A person performance as a parent does not determine his or her self worth. That that is the part, not the entire work. We have seen in the year only one lecture unconditional self acceptance. So I have explained the, the same thing, the same thing is then coming again and again. The performance of a child does not determine the value of parent as a person. So again, we have seen this performance cannot be a determinant of child's performance cannot be a determinant of your entire self-work and your own performance as well. 
I believe that uh, 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 underlying parental guilt, right? There are, there, this is one more important emotion. Past or present adversity is so unpleasant and awful that my child cannot be expected to live normally. Restitution for this adversity needs to follow. So, if there is any restitution or anything because of that, the parent feels tremendous guilt. They can have regret. Regret is healthy negative emotion, but guilt is an healthy negative emotion. It is awful for my child to suffer and I must prevent it at all cost. If a child is suffering, the parents feel that I must prevent it. At times the child has to suffer because of some other reasons. I am the sole cause of my child's problem. Again, it can set the guilt. If I make mistake, it will always affect my child. If I make mistake in parenting, or if I make mistake, it will affect the child. Kari baar ye dekha hua hai ki working mother mein bhi guilt raga hai. I'm not giving. I'm not giving time. Much time. Quality time. Quality time to the child. So that's again problem. Why it is? Because we have seen when we were talking about the guilt, overcoming guilt ka chakra ke chal liya tha. Ki when you're getting something, when you're working, right? The conflict in mind by emotional, you cannot have both things in your hand. Like you will be with the child and you will also get the money. कुछ पानी के लिए कुछ खोना पड़ता है and when you do one right thing, दूसरा कुछ तो भी right you are not able to do. That's that's how. Yeah. So we we are we can make mistakes or we 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 do wrong things in life. That's the most important thing to acknowledge and accept. I would have. I should have done something to prevent my child's disability. So here, I have seen this. Where disability? Where pregnancy may agar mein jyada care karti thi, to mera bachche ko ye disability nahi ho di thi. So carrying that, it meant tremendous guilt. And then, creating problem. There are disability I have seen. There are, in one case I have seen, where cerebral palsy naam ka problem. Mother is feeling all the time guilty. In other case, where the child is having hyperactivity. Again, the parent is no. In that case, the hyperactivity case is that after the age of 37, 37, 38 age, the parent has decided to become a second child. But because of some reason, the child becomes hyperactive. So that mother is blaming constantly herself. Uh, I should have prevented this. <coughs> I should have taken proper care or I should not. So uh, that's it. I am totally responsible for virtually everything that happens to my child. So that means I am totally responsible. But again, we cannot get totally responsible for that. My child is being punished for my own personal inadequacy. So if child is punished because of my own personal inadequacy, I must always do right by my child. So again, as I said, we can do wrong things in life at times. So what is rational alternative to guilt? Parents are not the sole cause of their child's problems. The first thing, parents can never be so omnipotent to prevent bad things from happening. Bad things will happen in life. That's the reality of life. You are not fully capable to stop all the bad things in the uh, on the planet. Children can overcome many of their adversities. Again, children on their own also, they can learn. The child can learn. I've seen where the child is trying to play with uh, shoes. Uska pair bhi, shoes mein bade, uh, most of the children I've seen, बड़े आदमी का शूज पहन के कोशिश करते हैं। Now the child has got stuck up with those पहिए तो parents लगता है उसको पढ़ा से ही करने के लिए। So let the child feel little frustrated. Let the child learn from the experience. Give opportunity for the child to learn from the experiences. Let the child feel little frustration if at all. If the child is trying and let the child try on its own. That's the meaning that they can overcome many of them. Children can tolerate frustrations. Yes. 
दे कैन फॉलो देर थिंग पेरेंट्स को लगता है कि नो दे कांट कि पेरेंट्स शुड हैव नोन बेटर दे वुड हैव डन बेटर या सो बिकॉज़ दे वर नॉट अवेयर दे वुड हैव डन बेटर सो देन देयर इज नो पॉइंट इन फीलिंग गिल्टी यू कैन हैव रिग्रेट अबाउट इट वाइल इट्स प्रेफरेबल टू बी परफेक्ट पेरेंट there is no law of universe that says you must be the parents are fallible and make mistakes in raising child children they do not deserve to be condemned and punished for their fallibilities again uh, not blaming oneself then uh, lft no frustration tolerance belief behind parent no frustration tolerance parenting shouldn't be so hard we have already seen this belief i must tell fun in my life and i cannot stand having frustrations <laughs> fun hona chahiye na bachche ko bada karna matlab it should be fun ha how you see i'm struggling is not eating she is not eating and all problems we are creating so it should be fun it is far easier to give in to my child's demands and their uh, whines i cannot stand the stress of following through on everything i say i Going to do for my child, so I am going to do. Then again, क्या होता है कई बार? When the child throws tantrums, ice cream by road के ऊपर अगर बोलते हैं I want ice cream, ice cream. Then parents और अगर फिर parents को क्या लगता है कि then फिर parents को लगता है कि अरे और parents says no, no ice cream. फिर वो क्या होता है और ज़्यादा चिल्लता है no ice cream. फिर उधर बैठ जाते हैं then take ice cream. <laughs> फिर पेरेंट बच्चे के दिमाग में क्या मैसेज जाता है कि पेरेंट्स को आई कैन डील विद इट हां पेरेंट्स को जितना ज्यादा मैं फ्रस्ट्रेट करेगा क्योंकि उनका लो फ्रस्ट्रेशन पावर है जितना ज्यादा लेवल ऑफ फ्रस्ट्रेशन ज्यादा उनमें क्रिएट होगा उतना मेरा डिमांड कंप्लीट होने का पॉसिबिलिटी ज्यादा है सो देन जब बड़ा होएगा तो फिर देन बिगर डिमांड्स बिकॉज़ देन व्हाट यू हैव डन टू मी एज अ चाइल्ड then the child the parents will feel guilty and then so it is important for the parent <coughs> to tolerate the frustration during that process it's worth tolerating that frustration in long term interest of the child in short term it's easy things should have always go on my way go uh, my way and people should do my my bidding again this is not possible things will not go i have seen for my personal experience where some uh, many times uh, like for me my child is most important for neighbors their child is most important so when they come together there are transactions are happening so so sometimes partiality is there like, so all those things are there it's a part of life but then if this belief is there uh, things should always and people should do my everything <laughs> again is not possible because just like for me my child is number one priority for them their child is number one priority so they will not scold the their child or they they may not scold uh, which my as a parent i expect no they should scold for this but then again it's not possible i shouldn't have to put up with frustration again this is irrational belief rational alternative it's easier to face a task than to avoid it so facing is important short term tolerance of frustration may well lead to long term gains i have already explained the long term jo hai short term you will when the child understand will learn oh if i frustrate my parents then uh, i can uh, whatever demands i make i can fulfill but then you what will happen short term the parents ka chutkara ho jayega problem se but long term bada problem create hoga but when you increase your low frustration tolerance long term mein aapke bachche mein patience ka pattern aap set karte hain parenting is often very hard yes in the hard you yeah, accept the fact that it is a hard process very very hard. very very hard to in order to uh, parent successfully i sometimes have to do things i do not feel like doing so i do not feel like doing yet i have to do yet to do those things 
I can tolerate high amounts of frustration associated with my child and his uh, his or her behavior. I can tolerate. Philips underlying a general parental emotional upset, right? General upset. Philips underlying general parental emotional. My child can upset me. Again, this is rational belief totally. Like my child can upset me, but the further major cause of upsetness is my behavior. Right. Because say 10 parents are there and 10 parents are facing similar situa upsetting situation about child, will all 10 parents will react exactly in the same manner? That by the different beliefs. Different beliefs. That means what my beliefs also contribute to my disturbance. I have little ability to control my feelings and unhappiness. Again, uh, this is irrational because I, I can uh, control my feelings. Yeah. One has to get upset when things go wrong. Yeah. My children cause all my unhappiness and they must change first before I can feel better. So my child must change first before. This is again many times this sets different sets of problem. I'll here give you some example. There are two things: problem number one and problem number two. Problem number one, let's take the example, the child has failed in the exam. What is problem number two? Parents' emotional reactivity to problem number one. If what parents, uh, many parents want, you deal with problem number one, not problem number two. two. Deal with problem number one first. But what is important, problem number two needs to be dealt with first. If parents are angry, then they will make a mess in handling or helping the child, handling the situation or helping the child. If they are in a better control of the emotion, their own emotion, they can help the child in a better manner. Let me give you some other example. Say for example, my hand got cut and I want to clean my house. The house is dirty, right? And my hand got cut, right? So what is first I need to do? So this hand, so then only I will be able to do the cleaning work effectively. Yeah, I've got fever, say for example, and I want to clean the house. Again, I have to first control my fever so that I can effectively control the external situation. So, but in this case, what I'm not saying is that they must Parents को क्या लगता है कि पहले बच्चे को तुम tackle करो। Many parents क्या होता है मेरे पास आते हैं counselling के लिए लड़की को लेके and they talk about child's problem and don't touch me is their approach. Don't talk about my style or my way of handling. But कोई भी parental counselling में कोई भी child counselling में तीनों चीजें involved थी। Three things are there: parents, child, and the therapist. If parents, because the maximum time the child is with the parents. So if they do not change their approach of handling the child or their way of dealing with the child, the problem remains more or less same there. If any bar bachche ko aage karke koi fayda nahi hai. So what is important for parents? Ki unko bhi wo responsibility lena. That is important. Finally, 